Michael's store, adjustable craft stand, 40-ish bucks, I think, at Michael's, uh, available online, um, adjustable, very adjustable, really nice. Hey guys, so I get a lot of questions and the majority of them are about my stand. So I'm just going to make this video all about my stand. So the next time everybody starts asking me about it, I could just be like, watch the video. Uh, first off, it is an adjustable craft stand support. Oh no, that's French. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's loops and threads, adjustable craft stand. This is the box. Um, can't see it. There we go. Adjustable craft stand. That's what the box looks like. Back says easy to assemble, no, no tools required, rotates 360 degrees for easy back knotting, adjustable height, ideal for most needlework, assembly instructions included. It is 15 inches by 15.7 inches by 36 inches. So that's about it. Loosen the wing nut and spin to any angle. Rotate 360 degrees. Uh, that's actually something that I've had a lot of people ask me about. They say that they bought this and theirs doesn't rotate like mine does. So if yours doesn't say rotate 360 degrees, it probably doesn't. <laughs> um, if it's the same as the same, you know, Everything as mine, it's probably just a different edition or something. I, I really can't help you with it. I mean, I guess you could try and make it adjustable. Like, because I, I think the only thing that really changes it is this block of wood right here, this little square. Um, if you compare the image with mine, I have moved a lot of these, these black knobs to hear just because they're e I I don't mess with those other ones quite as often as I do these and these are much easier to turn than the little metal ones like that those are much harder to turn so that you know that's the only difference about mine um I absolutely love this stand it is spectacular uh I used to sit on my bed and have this next to me because it would you know fold really nicely and reach the only thing that ever bothers me is it's the same problem with every piece of wood. When you tighten the stuff, if you get it a little bit tighter than what, you know, the wood deems necessary, it'll leave an indent. And eventually you have to start twisting it tighter and tighter, and the wood will just get pushed in further and further. Um, so far, I mean, I had this exact same problem on the big hoop I used for the uh, Epic Pokemon Generation Cross Generation One Cross Stitch. Well, that's too long. And uh, the actually what gave out first were the screws. Um, eventually, I was tightening it too much, and the the screws were getting getting worn down, so they didn't have the uh, the ridges anymore. It was kind of flat, so the screw had nothing to tighten onto. It would just slide off. So. Um, I mean, obviously you can buy new screws, so that's not a big big problem, but the indents drive me nuts. Um, I bought it at a Michaels store. I pretty much buy all of my art supplies at Michaels. I'm really sorry. I'm like, I'm like talking through this like it's a microphone or something. Hello. Um, I pretty much buy everything at Michaels, which I'm pretty sure is only in North America. But um, I've had people tell me they bought it through eBay. Uh, I know it's available on Amazon, so I will do my best to provide a link. If it's not somewhere in an annotation, it'll be in the description to at least uh, a link on Amazon. Um, I really like this. I So far, I mean, the only complaint I have is it's wood. <laughs> Um, sometimes the, the little screws, oh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they'll kind of give out, I guess. So every once in a while I'll be working and it'll just kind of go, and I'm like, whoa, what the, so, you know, it's irritating, but 
it's bound to happen. Uh, I've never stabbed myself because of it, so it's not it's not that bad. Um, I'd show you the whole thing, but as you can see, I have it between my desk and the wall, and I really don't want to have to move my entire desk to show it to you guys. Like it it looks exactly like the picture shows. It's just got the 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 two legs, <laughs> and mine didn't come with this big hoop. So everything I, all the hoops and frames I've been using are my own. Like this, here we go. Uh, I think people call it Q, a Q snap, but um, mine just said it was a frame, a plastic frame. It was seven ninety nine, and I got it half off. And um, I believe it's eight by eight inches, so it fits in there nicely. I'm doing it again. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, uh, I think I bought it like over two years ago and in my memory, it only cost me like 15 to 20 bucks, but I've had other people tell me when they went to Michael's, it was like $39.99. So if I did remember correctly, I probably had a 50% off coupon or something and that's how I got it for cheaper or uh, the price has gone up. I don't know. Like, I'm not sure. But, um, if you guys use big pieces of work, like, if, if you use, if you only use small hoops, I wouldn't really recommend it, because, I mean, unless you're using a huge piece of fabric, in which case you should get a bigger hoop, like, oh my goodness. Um, if you're using a small hoop, I don't think this is necessary, unless you have very, very weak wrists, and, and you're like, and it really hurts, you know, you, these are nice to hold it up. Uh, I'd only really recommend it for fairly big projects. Otherwise, because, I mean, with the little ones, it kind of gets in the way. I mean, even with this one, it kind of gets, hello, Contessa. She just jumped up on the desk behind the webcam. <laughs> it's good, though. Seriously, like, when she, she's been kind of, she feels better now. Like, okay, who cares? No, no one wants to hear about Tessa right now. Um, crap, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Hoops. Nope, I lost my train of thought. Okay, I'm going to stop it and listen to my video to find out what I was saying. Okay, now I know what I was saying. Even with this one, uh, sometimes it, I push it too far and the pattern is, you know, it, like, it, it's too, you can't stitch right here because of where the wood is that that'd be way too difficult so if you have an even smaller hooper frame like it's going to be even more difficult hello dump truck uh or recycle recycle whatever <laughs> um so if it's even smaller it, it's just going to be even harder like i really like this when i never have to move the hooper frame when i can just tighten it and it's good I keep smacking it. I'm so sorry. Bad frame. Bad. Uh, or stand. Whatever. Uh, it's just, it's nicer than having to constantly tighten it and loosen it and tighten it and loosen it. But, I mean, it's it's not that bad. It's just a little time consuming is all. It's really adjustable. It's really nice. It has one, two, three, four, uh, joints, I guess, where you can twist it and turn it and make it face a different way. Uh, if you watch my day two video, which I think is uploading right now, it has like 60 minutes left. Uh, I'm constantly moving it around, getting it higher, getting it lower. So, uh, it, you know, it's nice. The thing is good. And when you do get it tightened, it's very stable. So that's nice. If you cross stitch often, and you use medium to large projects, or you have, you know, weak wrists, weak elbows, any of that, I would highly recommend it. Um, there is a reason. You, the only time you've ever seen me use that huge hoop is with the uh, Pokemon cross stitch, because I never want to go back to that. <laughs> it was... It was this big. I mean, I still own the thing. Okay, it was bigger than my, my, my frame can show you. Uh, it was massive. 
And I was like every day, I okay, maybe not every day, but at least every week, I would have to uh, take the hoop off, tighten the fabric again, and put the hoop back on. And it was really irritating because, I mean, it was a huge hoop. With a little one, you know, it's easy. Just pop it off, pop it, off, pop it back on. With the Pokemon cross stitch, it was insane. So, I... Um, I personally wouldn't recommend it. Like, I have a bunch of people always telling me I have a ton of patience. And I did put up with that thing for 130 days, so I guess I have patience. But, um, unless you're okay having a bunch of fabric constantly getting, uh, not taut, basically, I wouldn't recommend it. Because it'll drive you nuts. <laughs> um... It was nice, though, I will admit. So, you know, it wasn't all bad. Yeah. There, this is my, my permanent one. And that one is for the gigantically huge projects. <laughs> and I don't know if I ever want to do another one that big. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah. Michael's store. Adjustable craft stand. 40-ish bucks, I think, at Michael's, uh, available online, um, adjustable, very adjustable, really nice, <laughs> yeah, it's my baby, if it was any more my baby, I'd have to name it, <laughs> okay, I am totally rambling on, I name stuff, and this stand is amazing, so, if you want it, I would definitely recommend it, <laughs> ah, it's like a seesaw you guys really don't want to be my friend I'm fucking insane I should cut that out but I probably won't because <laughs> I like amusing everybody with how stupid I am sometimes I swear to god I'm 23 I'm not a child <laughs> I mean some of you will call me a child but I'm not I am an adult now and I normally act like it until you put me in front of a video camera. Then, then I become a total dork. And if you ever become my friend, I become a total dork. So I guess I'm just a dork. <laughs> Yay! I apologize also if the way I video this irritates you guys. Everybody wants to know about this baby. So, you know, it's there. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to go work on the uh, Mother Moon cross-stitch now. So now I will see you guys in a bit.